Hey you guys, I have gotten so much great feedback from uh, my 10 tips on chemo, 10 tips on radiation. You guys, I have gotten questions, I have gotten thank you, I have gotten prayers, and I am so happy even on my hair updates, you guys. Um, it's been one year, one year since your girl Susie, DIY with Susie, has fought cancer, 16 rounds of cancer. I had a stage three breast cancer. I had cancer on my left breast. I had had five surgeries. I had had, um, I did 16 rounds of chemo. I did six weeks of radiation a Monday through Friday. I had a surgery for my lymph nodes. I had a surgery for the tumor removed. I had a surgery for my port. The only one thing you guys that I cannot get rid of is this port. I'm still waiting on a one more mammogram and I'm waiting on one more. I think he said it's like an ultrasound for the inside of the breast because sometimes the cancer, it heals and then the cancer just forms underneath it. And when it heals, it might heal, heal thick and this still might be like cancer cells back there. So I'm going to do like a, I think he said like almost like an ultrasound i think and that's what the doctor said so once i do those two more which would be around valentine's i can get this port removed you guys and this is like the last surgery i hate the cleaning of the port it is horrible the, the needle is this long and it goes straight in the whole thing goes straight into your port and they have to do a solution to clean it so i hate the cleaning because she goes take a deep breath but it feels like it's just knocking you out because it's so strong and it's so painful they add a little bit of medicine on there but you can still feel it you know it helps i just did my um one year hair update you guys check it out i'm gonna do a little sneak peek look at that wow so i wanted to do the one year you guys i'm so blessed right as of right now i am cancer free i'm still continuing every six months my mammograms every six months seeing my doctor anything he tells me we've been working on it together i chose not to take the pill the 10-year pill and it's the best decision i made for myself i know a lot of you guys have contacted me have wanted to talk to me about it but it's my decision. I chose the right decision. I am, as of right now, cancer-free, still healthy, still beautiful, going strong, you guys. I just want to say thank you for all the support, all the comments, all the prayers, everything you guys have ever, ever sent me because I get comments, prayers, questions asked every day and by the dozens, you guys. If I do not answer your comments, trust me, I will get to it. I always always make time for you guys for the questions the comments and um yeah today's wednesday we were pink on wednesday at work to support a breast cancer awareness because you know it's out there so yeah everything has been going great um working towards um getting the port removed once i get the port removed i can breathe a little more we can start a new chapter and leave that one in the past and just continue supporting each other wearing my pink on wednesdays um putting my post up for breast cancer we cannot forget our past we cannot forget our brothers and sisters who died from it who didn't survive who it just you know so many mothers so many fathers so many uncles and sisters and aunts and godmothers who did not make it you know i am so happy that i made it i cry sometimes because i know that i am here and a lot of people they just they just don't make it I'm gonna tell you this little story. Um, I work with this guy and he works in the IT department and his sister-in-law, we had got breast cancer the same time. And he had told me that she had gotten breast cancer and it was on the same breast as well. And um, we got it at the same time. We started the chemo at the same time. And when I stopped my chemo, I went to go look for him and I'm like, oh, Mark, I, I'm done my chemo. I did my 16 rounds. I started my radiation. And he's like, good for you, um, Susie. Good for you, you know. I'm so happy and all these things. And we were so happy. And um, I go, how's your sister-in-law? You know, I know she started when I started. And he goes, Susie, she died. <sighs> I 
I'm sorry you guys I don't like crying in front of you guys because I know a lot of you are like oh my god I'm crying with you and I never want to make you guys cry but yeah he goes she died so she died after her chemo during her chemo I'm sorry guys I'm on my way to work too I don't want my co-workers to be like why are you crying Susie but she died so it took me back you know I didn't cry in front of him because I knew it was sad but it makes me think all the time like I could have died like her she just she, she couldn't fight it her body couldn't fight it it spread and it killed her you know so she died so I'm here it's been a year and we're celebrating life you guys celebrate life go do something go tell somebody you love them because it's precious I love you guys you guys are amazing you guys have supported me through my channel <laughs> you know I'm busy I'm working I have the boys but you guys are amazing and I just want to say it's been a year and your girl made it <laughs> I beat cancer I beat radiation and we're still here I'm going to continue to do my blogs. I'm going to continue to support. I'm going to continue to do my DIYs that I love doing. I love making my baskets. I know a lot of you guys are like, when's the next basket coming? They're coming. You know, I've been working. I am so much to do, but I'm here with you guys. I want to say thank you for all the support. And yeah, to one year of struggle, one year of hair loss and wearing your hat and wearing all these things and just making it happen the support the prayers everything has worked out i want to say thank you you guys are amazing you know <coughs> continue to do my giveaways to give back to you guys because you guys are amazing thank you for the people that comment all the time for the bestie for all of you guys for marianne for everybody terry um Harriet, Bridget, all of you guys are amazing. Chrissy, the bestie, you know, Lisa, thank you for all the support. You guys are amazing. And here we go. Let's do um, 2023 better, bigger, brighter, and two new adventures. And make sure you guys subscribe to my channel so you guys can stay updated and get the latest information on me, my progress, um, my hair journey, my DIYs, my holidays, my decor, my tips. Oh my God. I'm a, <laughs> I feel like I, I do a lot. I'm an entrepreneur. And until next time, bye you guys.